Uh, so I just got on the road. I finally got out to the country, uh, picked up some happy hour from Duncan, and off we go to Indianapolis tonight. This week, I'm headed to the Geological Society of America conference in Indianapolis, Indiana. This is an annual meeting um, that I attend every year, pretty much. Uh, it's a professional conference for geologists from all over the world. A geological conference like this is one that I think it's really valuable for students to, to experience. Uh, I wish that I could bring like all of my students to this meeting every year. That would be fantastic. In a quarter mile, turn right onto the ramp to Indianapolis. Hey guys, um, I'm here at GSA in Indianapolis and this is my hotel room that I've been staying at for the last couple of days. I wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown of uh, what's been happening here at the meeting. So I arrived on Friday evening and on Saturday I spent the entire day in a short course on the use of drones in the geosciences. Great experience, really gained a lot from it. On Sunday, the meeting officially begins with the first day. And so I gave my talk um, on Sunday afternoon. My talk was on photography and geology. And I was in a, a session that was all about uh, images and photos and geoscience education. So it fit really well. I thought the talk went pretty well. Um, I had some good feedback, and so uh, I was I was very happy with that. So when you come to a meeting like this, you get a you get a badge, all right. This is kind of what it looks like. And so every day when you go into the conference to get in the door, you have to have your appropriate ID. Uh, so what else do you see at a meeting like this? So the main thing is, of course, the scientific presentations, which come in two forms. There are the talks and there are the posters. A talk is about 15 minutes long. And so you present in front of, the, of a room, you have a certain time slot, uh, you're in part of a, a session, and uh, you use PowerPoint slides and things like this. So. Uh, the other kind of presentation, though, is the poster session. And the posters are hung up in the exhibit hall, and they're basically hung up there for an entire day. There are certain hours of the day in which uh, presenters are expected to be there and stand by their posters. And that way, anybody throughout the day can come along and see the poster, and if they come back at the right time, uh, they can talk with the, the, the person who is presenting the data and ask some questions. It's a little bit different style and the two styles have, they're bo they both have their, their advantages and their disadvantages. I'm not allowed to video any posters or talks. Uh, photography and video in the presentations is all off limits according to GSA policy, so I can't show you any of that. In addition to the talks, there's a huge exhibit hall which has vendors in it 
and it also has graduate school programs in it. And again, there are hundreds of both of these. You can spend a good amount of time walking up and down the aisles and seeing what the vendors have to sell. So for example, there are vendors selling uh, scientific equipment. There are also companies who will make scientific analyses on samples for you, so you can send your samples to them and pay them a fee, and they will send you back the data for your study. So there's the ones that sell like fossils and rocks and minerals and pretty stuff. Brunton exhibit here has this Brunton challenge where you fill out your background and you use one of their compasses to measure strike and dip of these rock surfaces. All right, we're gonna go up here. Zircon. We think. Do it. The other thing, and the main reason that I think coming here to a meeting like this as an undergraduate is really valuable, is that a lot of graduate programs come here and they have a booth set up because they want to meet you guys. They want to meet current undergraduate students who are looking for what's my next step in the process of pursuing my career and my dreams and my passions. So some examples here we got UT Austin, here is IUPUI, over here is University of South Carolina, and on and on and on down and around, and there's just tons and tons of them. So if you come to a place like this, you can walk up and down these aisles and you can meet with hundreds of people representing their graduate school programs here which is a tremendous opportunity to kind of get, get a taste of what all is out there. Um, I'm trying to collect uh, some, some swag for you guys when I come back. So hold on, let, me, let me show you what I already got. All right, so I got some stickers. This is from the, can't focus, come on focus. There we go. I got some stickers, this is from the American Institute of Professional Geologists, AIPG. There's a whole bunch of these types of uh, nonprofit professional organizations that are here that also have booths and they give out free stuff and they want to encourage you to join. Uh, the AIPG also gave me these. Can you see that? Little tattoos, little, little fake temporary tattoos. And I grabbed a whole bunch of them, and so I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we bring these maybe on the next field trip, and 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 everybody wear one or two or however many you want uh, when we go to Missouri next spring. Is that all right? What do you think? Maybe. All right. So I've got uh, this big giant window, which is behind the camera here, that uh, that my my hotel looks out. I'm way up on the 19th floor, so I've got this huge overview. 
um, which uh, isn't the greatest view. I mean, it's you know buildings. But let me let me show you let me show you what I've got here. All right, so this is the view out my window, and I'm way up on the 19th floor. That's the street down there. This is the convention center. The convention center uh, out here, all this boring rooftop stuff, and. Uh, that right there is a big giant stadium. I assume that's where the Colts play. I don't really know. Okay, Google. What stadium do the Indianapolis Colts play in? Lucas Oil Stadium is the home of the Indianapolis Colts. All right, there you go. There's some kind of baseball field over there. I don't think Indianapolis has a Major League Baseball team, so I'm not what sure that's about. Uh, anyway, there's a, an interesting church looking architecture building over here. And so yeah, that's the view.